Hey, what's up? It's Hobart. Welcome to Android University, and this is the latest Hyperdrive RLS10 for the Samsung Galaxy S3, and this is by a wonderful developer, Sbreen94, uh, and the change log is just huge. Now, this is the uh, XDA post here, okay? There's so many features in this that the change log goes forever. Now, there's a whole bunch of stuff listed. I'm not going to go over every single one of them. You can look through it all by yourself. Uh, not that it doesn't need to be too long. It's just that there are a lot of features. So I uh, definitely want to uh, go and read the entire change log over on XDA. Uh, this does have Android 4.1.2. It's based off the new MB1 over-the-air update from Verizon. It's been rebased and rebuilt off of that um, over-the-air update. So it's a whole new hyperdrive. You will use the Aroma Installer. There's a numerous, uh, endless amount of uh, options that you're going to be choosing in the Aroma Installer, so just take it slow. I did notice that the volume hack, unless you like really, 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 really loud music, uh, the volume hack you might want to stay away from. I chose it, and then I turned on, uh, listened to, I was trying to change my ringtones, and it was so loud, even at like 20% volume, it was so loud, it was ridiculous. So that was just one caution. I actually reflashed the ROM without that hack. Uh, GS4 theme is new to this. You can see it does look like the Galaxy S4 in a way. Um, apps, wallpapers, a theme done by Esprine, sounds, notifications, S4 weather, S4 voice, which now, by the way, does not work. Um, so I uninstalled it and installed a different one. They turned the servers off for the S4, S voice, and it's not getting a network connection. So uh, Translate's also included. You do have to have a Samsung account in order for that to work. People are asking questions. You must have a Samsung account. You must be logged in in order to use Translate. Those are some of the new things. Multi-window, of course, included in here. You get four lock screens to choose from. Your choice of over 30 battery icons. And, of course, a bunch of Galaxy Note 2 stuff. You get the camera gallery. You get Page Buddy, Pop-Up Browser, Paper Artist, the S Note, S Memo, and S Planner. Now, that's just a few of the things that are included in this ROM, okay? Some of the new features, of course, the S4 theme. You can see kind of a clear, transparent bar. You got white for your, uh, your colors of your numbers and your 4G signal and stuff like that. This is not the official S4 uh, weather widget. I don't believe the ones that are out right now are usually the Galaxy S2 uh, that were just rethemed to make it look like the Galaxy S4. Four. Battery icon, clock mods, volume rocker, skip, sense for recent apps and launcher and all that good stuff, and uh, hyperdrive wallpapers. Those are some of the new things. So let's go in and check this thing out, all right? We're going to go into About Phone. We're going to look for C run Android 4.1.2, the MB1 baseband. I'm using the Zeus kernel, which is by them or by him, I believe. Uh, and we are on. RLS 10 by Esprit 94, okay? Back out to the settings menu, it looks pretty much just like your regular old settings menu, except for you do have this ROM control. The ROM control has been totally redone to make it look different and better. Uh, you're going to have a bunch of different settings in here. You go to your mod settings, this is where you're going to play around with your clock and your status status bar clock options, okay? Lock screen settings are also here as well. If you want to change your lock screen, you do have uh, several different ones to choose from here. Uh, I'm using the AOSP lock screen. Make sure you turn off your ripple effect, okay? Get your ripple effect off. Or you're going to have problems. Uh, what else do we have in here? We got UI customizations, LED settings, notification toggle changers, custom framework installers. If you play with your pure app DPI, you can play with that. Pi controls and icon changer are on here as well. Display settings, you have some options here. Display options. It just brings you into the display part of your settings menu. Same with the audio. You got Awesome Beats, which I did choose in the Aroma installer, and a call recorder that you can play around with. Phone settings. You've got Hyperdrive over the air updates, CPU and information, battery settings, and again, that's in your settings menu and uh, app settings as well, okay? So GPS quick fix, if you're having problems, you got that in here. Media drain battery fix, you got that in here as well. Um, so there's a few things, cool things. That's all found in the Hyperdrive ROM control, which is uh, specific to this ROM, and uh, like I said, has been totally redone, okay? So that's the settings menu. Let's head back out to the main screen here, and you can see what Hyperdrive RLS 10 looks like here. Kind of looks like the Galaxy S4. Got a few Galaxy S4 icons like that camera right there. That's the new Motorola uh, camera which I found today.
by the way, uh, which works pretty good. So there have been a few uh, different uh, icon changes here, the S Note, S Memo. You do have this A Note HD, which I haven't quite figured out yet. Uh, it kind of looks like a real big planner, and I'm still trying to figure out how that all works. Uh, like I said, your, your uh, S Voice, if you're using the S4 S Voice, it's not going to work. They shut the servers down, so they're not supporting it. They found out that we got a hold of it, and of course, they ruined all of our funds. So that's not working anymore either, okay? Um, but a lot of things are working. So let's check the uh, GPS, GPS status. We'll go to. I don't even know if I've opened it yet. Maybe I have opened it. I don't have GPS on, so let's turn GPS on. And we'll see how long it takes for us to lock on. It's the first time I've locked on with GPS. I'm inside of a building here, so it might take a second. First thing you want to do all the time is go to Tools here. Go to Manage a GPS State. Download that just to get the latest satellite positions. You can see we've locked on pretty good for being inside. No problems with that. Uh, so GPS is working fine. Now, there is a problem with MMS, okay? Multimedia messages are not sending right off the bat. Uh, there is a fix in the OP. You do have to go into an XML file. You do have to uh, add some edits and stuff like that in there, and it's explained in there, uh, and it worked for me on the, the stock AOSP messaging, okay? You have to choose the AOSP messaging, as far as I know, in order for your MMS to work. That's stipulation number one. Stipulation number two is I was using an inverted MMS app from another ROM or from somebody else that I got, and I couldn't get it to work. Well, as soon as I went back to the stock uh, AOSP uh, MMS messaging app, it worked. So the only difference that I saw was is either one, it was the app, or two, the letters SEC, usually the Samsung apps have that in front of it, was in front of the, the stock one that's currently on here, while the other one that I was using only was MMS.APK. So maybe I needed to put a SEC prefix on it in order for it to work, I'm not sure, but I'm back on the stock one and I did send a picture and it did not force close on me. So MMS problems, you may need to use the stock AOSP messaging app only, or if you're going to use a different one, make sure you put SEC MMS.APK in front of it just to make sure that may work. I don't know. But as of right now, my AOSP messaging is working. I did send a picture to my fiance. It did not force close, and that was only with the messaging app that came with the ROM. Got it? All right, cool. Let's also go into the settings menu here and play with some of the other things here. You got uh, da, 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 you got locks. Oops, not lo location services. You got lock screen, lock screen options. Choose your lock screen, which you got here. Um, what else do we have? There's also in display, I believe. You can go down, choose your battery icon. These are all the different battery icons that you can choose on the fly. You can see the one that I have right there. Kind of looks like a tachometer with colors in it. Uh, you've got you can change them literally on the fly. So I can. Too bad it closes out dark blue stock. I'm just going to show you a couple of them here. Little Android. And you can play with the rest of the ones on your own. Of course, we can hide it if we want to. Sunburst looks like that. Okay. Uh, let's see. AOKP looks like this. And Android like that. And I'm going to go back to what I was using, which I have no idea what it was. I think it was Crisis. No. Doesn't matter anyway. Um, I want to try it though. See style? Nope, that wasn't it either. So you're look, getting to see a couple extra ones here. There it is, Castaway. Looks like a speedometer. So uh, you can do that in display all the way down at the bottom. That's where you're going to find your uh, battery settings to be able to change to the different batteries that have come with it, which is a pretty cool option. You do have multi-window as well. If you want to enable multi-window, all you have to do is hold the back button, and uh, it'll either go away or hold the back button, and it will reappear. Of course, uh, you have all your applications here on the side. You can do multi-window by, let's say, opening up Google, and then we'll also open up, uh, let's see, we'll open up uh, our Google, no, we don't want to open up Google Sky. We'll open up our gallery. So you just drag it over here, and now you've got two applications open at the same time, your gallery and, of course, your... Uh your Google. So that's how it works, all right? Multi-window, fully working, works great. Um, what else I want to show you? Kernel. If you want to play with the kernel, this is the Zeus kernel that's come stock. It is by S. Breen. It is overclockable to 1.6 gigahertz, I believe. Yes, it is. Uh, 192 is the minimum. You do have some a whole bunch of different governors on here, which I like. I want to use the Pegasus governor. It's been working pretty good so far. Checking the battery. I have been playing with the phone quite a bit today, but let's go over and check out the battery and see what we're working with here as far as the battery. 
Six hours, 42 minutes. I'm on 38%, but I have been using quite a bit. Again, this has just been flash, so it's still settling in. I'm going to give it another day or two and see uh, and before I switch or if I switch. Uh, but like I said, I have been using it quite a bit. Let's see what my screen time is. I got two hours of screen time on here uh, in the last six hours and 42 minutes. So um, that's what the battery's looking like so far, okay? Google Now, of course, I got an inverted Google Now on here, but uh, Google Now is working. Uh, weather's updating properly. You have to use an older S Voice app in order for it to work. Uh, and that's pretty much it. You do have hyperdrive wallpapers. If you want to set your wallpaper, some people are having problems with setting the wallpaper. You might have to use the display, go into display here in your settings in order to set your wallpapers right there like that uh, in order for it to work. I've had success with both of them. Sometimes it'll work and sometimes it won't. But you do have the cool wallpapers that are by uh, Esprit. These are the hyperdrive wallpapers. And I'll just kind of show you what they look like real quick, kind of go through them. And these are included in here, and you can, of course, just use these if you want to. I don't like to use anything with words on it because then the words get covered up by other things that I have on there. So I kind of like those abstract designs just to uh, make it not so busy. But those are some of the uh, hyperdrive wallpapers that you get with it as well. Cool little addition by Esprit. So uh, let's see. I showed you ROM control. You got your battery clock mods. Your volume rock rocker to skip uh, is is enabled for all the music apps. You can use that. Sense 4, uh, you get the touch or the Sense 4 launcher. Touch was launcher is an option. You can also get the Sense um, Clock Widget as well as an option. And recent apps. I chose recent apps. And that's pretty much it. The MMS bug, you got to go to the OP to get the fix. You're going to have to do some editing. There's not a zip file or anything. You're going to have to do some editing and make sure you do it right. If you do it right, it should work. Uh, one tip, I think somebody said, and I did this, if you take the file, copy it out of the folder in your system folder to somewhere else, do the editing, save it, and then insert it back into the system file there. Uh, that's the best way for it to work. Make sure your permissions are RWRR, reboot the phone, and it should work. Again, I was using the stock AOSP messaging app, which in system is named uh, secmms.apk. When I used a different inverted MMS application. It was still AOSP, but it was not named SEC MMS. It was just MMS. It didn't work. So I'm not sure if the MMS application that I was using just doesn't work with this uh, ROM or if the SEC prefix was the reason why. I haven't really tried it yet. I do know that with the stock AOSP messaging application, it does work at this time with the fix in the OP, uh, and I'm sure Esprit will get that updated as soon as possible so we don't have to do this anymore. But once it's done, it should be done. Thanks for watching the video today. I appreciate it. This is the latest from Esprit. It's Hyperdrive RLS 10 for the Samsung Galaxy S3. It is a multi-carrier ROM, so all the major carriers can get it as well based on Android 4.1.2. Uh, I've only shown you the surface. You can get deeper into this here. A lot of cool features on this. Read the OP, follow the instructions, and don't forget to check out my other videos and app reviews over at Android University. All one word, YouTube.com. Also, don't forget to check out droidviews.com for the latest in Android, wallpapers, ringtones, launchers, system dumps, uh, all sorts of cool Android apps. It's at droidviews.com. I'm a writer and contributor over there. And thanks for watching my videos today. Have a great day. Peace.